And now, our feature presentation. I think they got lost in the swamp. You will learn that what I want is what I get around here. You will stay here with me, or they shall die. I will die with them. Then you shall all die. like easy going for a change, huh? Is it always so different when you cross through the zone? It has been so far. Yeah, you never know what's gonna be there. She followed me. Hey, how about that? She came right through the zone. Well, there are five of us now. One more, and we're back to our original number. Look! I don't like the looks of that. How can a storm come up so quickly? That's no storm, but at least no normal one. We ran into his first cousin, and I am not anxious to make this one's acquaintance. Let's go. easier to say where we aren't. Yeah, I think 
so. But where's Liana? She's here someplace. That storm just put her down someplace else in this swamp is all. Climatic atmospheres of these zones are not going to be as predictable as we would like, I'm afraid. In other words, we got trouble. In other words, I think we'd better begin looking for Liana. See, Father, look. As I told you, she is not one of ours. No. Miss? Miss? Mm. Oh, it's a... Where am I? Oh, now, don't worry. You're safe. But where are my friends? You are alone. There's no one else. It seems obvious to me you've had a very difficult time. Why don't you come back with us to our villa and we could talk it all over? But my friends... We'll talk about them, too. I assure you. Later. Everything is fine. All right. Hmm. Come on. Oh. Oh. Ah. My ankle. Cirrus, carry her. Of course, Father. Watch out for things. What things, Scott? Just things. Yeah, very good, Scotty. Let's just keep our eyes peeled. Liana! 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 Sure, the storm left Liana in this swamp at all. Maybe this is all a wild goose chase. Perhaps it is. Yeah. We have little choice but to continue. <laughs> Don't you go wandering off, Scotty. Well, there's an animal. Liana! Liana! in the mud. Scott must have stopped here. And there. Now there are two sets of prints. This is our home. If you don't mind, I think I can walk now. Serious? I must have just turned it. Good. Shall we? I hope you are going to be comfortable in our villa. This is Rachel, and these are my other sons, Michael and Daniel. Oh, I don't believe you told us your name. Liana. We're happy to have you with us, Liana. 
we see so few. We see so few travelers. We are a bit isolated, you know. Rachel, I'm sure Miss Liana would like to rest before dinner. Please, you've been so kind to me. But I really must see about my friends. Oh, yes. Uh, Miss Liana was traveling with two men and a boy. They were separated by the storm. Keep a watch out for them. Yes, yes father. father. Perhaps I had better go with them. Oh, no, that won't be necessary. The boys will handle it. And you will bring them here when you find them? Yes, yes Miss Liana. Liana. Come now, Leon. She's very beautiful, Father. Isn't she? I hope you will enjoy your stay with us, Leon. I'm sure I will. Everything here is so beautiful. Jonathan likes it that way. Your husband. Jonathan. Your sons are extremely handsome and very well-mannered. You must be very proud of them. Jonathan likes it that way. <laughs> it's lucky all his wishes came out the way he wanted them. Oh, they would have in any event. Jonathan is a very strong-minded man. Your room is in there. Thank you. I am tired. I wish I knew about my friends. We don't see many people. I think they got lost in the swamp. The swamp? I didn't see any swamp. I have never either. Jonathan says it is not for us to bother about. It's beyond the mountain. I think people get lost there sometimes. Why? I sometimes hear people crying at night when it's very still. And I know it isn't us. Thank you. You're welcome. I thought I told her to be quiet about the swamp. But she was so concerned about her friends. Make no mistake about this. If you ever mention the swamp to anyone ever again, I will take you apart. It's like more than one trail through here. Yes. You know, there's also the question of finding Leanna. Well, we don't even know that she's here. We do know that someone has Scott. Something. Any news? We saw no one, Father. They must be in the swamp. There is no other place. All right. If they do show up, use whatever means necessary to make certain they do not come near here. Yes, yes Father. My dear. Michael and Daniel have just returned from their search for your friends. Did they find them? I'm terribly sorry. They saw no one at all, but I have sent them out to look again, and if there is any chance of finding them, they will. Thank you. The soup, sir. Oh. But please, I don't want you to worry. I... Conson! What are you doing? Now get out of here with that. Yes, sir. I will take care of this, Jonathan. <sighs> You have to excuse the chef. He has a fondness for cooking, Sherry. And I best take care of this. Excuse me. Please try some. No, thank you. Why did this have to happen now? I'm so sorry, John. Oh, it's not your fault. Do any of the girls suspect anything, do you? No, I don't think so. Good. I want to mind taking off this. Perhaps some new clothes. Yes, Jonathan. For best results, one should always use a dry powdered mustard. Never overpowering the delicacy of the sauce. And then, of course, one would prefer just the tiniest pinch of basil and perhaps a sprinkling of thyme to give the stew its true provincial flavor. Now, if these herbs are not available, uh, one could use uh, tarragon and estragon. Uh, uh, no, one couldn't. Tarragon and estragon don't go together at all. Perhaps one could use rosemary. Oh, rosemary. Oh, that's a lovely name, rosemary. Yes, we'll use rosemary, and... Mm -hmm.
Fred. Is that you? Fred! Where are you? There he is! Over here! told him maybe you could help. Help him? He's very ill. That is Arin. He is our leader. He has fallen sick of the swamp fever. It has taken many of our people. But I told him you were both doctors. It may be that your friend is too far gone for either of us to help him. You must help him. Now. It was my fault. I was late with Conson. His central diode, it's always been erratic. Yes, Jonathan. Well, now, this should do it. There you are, Conson. Did you enjoy the salmon moose, Master? Very much, Conson. Oh, I'm so glad the master liked it. Yes. Finish him up, Rachel, and then come back to the house. Turn around, Conson. I'll close you up. suffering from a bacterial disease, as I suspect he is. You're right. At least as close as I can come. His body composition is close enough to ours to make an educated guess. And my guess is malaria. Your medicines are not as good as Willoway's? Who's Willoway? Beyond the mountain. The man. He is from your time, I think. He knows much. Well, if he knows so much, why didn't you ask him to help you lead her? He would not. He does not think of us as beings of any worth. All right. But you got to understand something about this medicine. It could cure him if his body structure is as close to ours as I think it is. But if I'm wrong, it could kill him. Good afternoon, Father. Cirrus, Rachel will be needing your help in the house. Go to her now. Yes, Father. He's a handsome boy, isn't he? All your sons are handsome. Some men are lucky. I was. Very much so, I would say. You don't understand. I came here alone. And to some extent, I am still alone. But you have your sons and Rachel. Rachel is not my wife. She's more of a companion. I have been looking for someone with whom to share my life. I'm afraid I don't quite understand. In this place, what is there to try and understand? <laughs> All time, past, present, and future, universal mankind meeting itself, coming and going. So, I have tried to learn to appreciate the fundamentals. There's a great deal of beauty here, don't you think so, Miss Liana? Oh, it is beautiful, really beautiful. And I've enjoyed seeing it all with Cirrus. I really do like him. Then, um, why don't you go find him? No! Father, just as you suspected, the three people she asked about are with the green people in the swamp. Keep an eye on them, Aeschylus. Do not interfere with them unless it appears they are going to leave the swamp. Then report to me. Yes, Father. 
I don't believe this. Every indication of malarial infection is gone. It's, it's, it's like he's never been sick. Here, try to sit up. Easy. Hey, your medicines are most effective. And you must have some kind of metabolism, fella. Perhaps you could tell your friends here. They will not harm you. I'm their leader, and they feared for me. Now they see I am safe, they will do nothing. There is a high standard of honor among my people. Even though we've been reduced from a technological capability beyond your imagining to this. If you have this capability, why do you live in a place like this? Not long ago, Willow Eight came to us. He was as different to our eyes as you are to us. We gave him the hospitality of our community and our homes. And in return for this, he subverted our helpers and turned them into soldiers to take our community away from us and drive us here. And we were afraid you had come from him. It would be, has been a long time since he has been here. The man from beyond the mountain, Willoway. He is of your kind. What were you like as a child, Sirius? What did you do? I don't know. I would tell you my past. I can't, Liana. But you keep saying that. Don't you want us to even be friends? Oh, yes. It's just that I can't remember. Liana, does it matter so much? No. my favorite achievements. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Now, my dear, we have discussed your future. My future? I have informed Rachel that you will become my wife. What do you mean? I thought I made it perfectly clear. You and I are going to be married. Oh, is it some kind of a joke? Oh, I'm perfectly serious. Oh, you're crazy. Not at all. You will learn that what I want is what I get around here. Well, you don't get me. Bring her back. Yes, Father. Our first concern is Liana. Work of the storm of carrier. Your companion, Leon, is either in the swamp or beyond the mountain. And none of our people in the swamp have seen her. Can you lead us to her, even if she's beyond the mountain? Yes, we can do that. But you must understand that we cannot help with a man Willoway. After everything he's done to you? He has all our helpers. He even made them to look like himself. And forgive me, but more like you also. They are too many of them. We cannot defeat him. You could do something to change that. We want to take back what is ours, but Willoway is too strong. Then why not leave here? Go someplace else. He is only one man. He will not live forever. Then it will be ours again. Uh, Escalos. There's two men and a boy coming in this direction. We should prepare for them. Yes, Father. Thank you, Escalos. Serious. Oh, I've been working on this sketch for the new sleeping quarters. Uh, do you think Miss Liana will like it? Oh, yes, Father. It is very beautiful. Huh. But it seems as though you are making Liana sad. If you are going to marry her, why should that make her sad? That should be of no interest to you, Sirius. I know, Father, but Liana makes one interested in things. Oh? Such as? Wondering. And feeling. Feeling good. And warm. And happy. You? 
feel these things? Yes, Father. You feel? Yes, Father. <laughs> oh, you don't. Oh, how could you possibly feel for her or she feel for you? You are inanimate, Cirrus. You are nothing more than an amalgam of simulated flesh and bone. Your marrow is transistorized. Your heart is a battery. Your veins and arteries are wire filament. Father, I feel I cannot help it. Please, do not make Liana sad. I beg you. We will speak with her. Thank you, Father. Miss Liana, I've come to apologize. I've been terribly wrong, and I'm very sorry if I have frightened you in any way, and, and uh, if you wish to leave, you may. My father has come to make you happy. He found the way. Good. I thought you might like one last taste of Aldacta. To speed you on your journey. I'll be happy to leave here, Cirrus. But I am going to miss you. To my friends and my journey. To your journey and to finding what you seek. Cyrus tells me he has feelings for you and you for him. We are good friends. That is impossible. Impossible to have feelings for each other? Cirrus, hold this. No, Father, please observe. The only feelings that Cirrus has for you are those with which I have programmed him myself. No, Father, please, not now, not here. Cirrus is an android. Everyone around you here is an android, except me. There are only two flesh and blood humans here. You and I. Don't you understand what that means? Father, not now. She sleeps, Father. Yes. Now we must prepare to greet our guests. <laughs> Greetings. Greetings. We've come for Liana, a woman of our party. We've reason to believe that she's with you. Oh, yes, indeed. She was here. Oh, I am sorry you didn't arrive earlier. She's traveled eastward looking for you. I don't understand her going on without waiting for us. When did she leave? Oh, it's no more than four hours ago. You can catch her. Look, my sons will show you her route. They've traveled it often. Yes, she was concerned about you and had us look for you. Then she began to think that you must have been lost in the storm, so she rested here for a while. <laughs> then she would go on. And you just let her? Well, well, there's very little I could do to stop her. She's a very strong-minded young woman. Oh. Uh, friend, you've been a real help. But before we go on after Liana, what we would really appreciate is some food. Yeah, that's for sure. I haven't eaten since breakfast. Oh, 
Of course. My home is open to you. Come on. Well, now, you haven't told me how you came here, or even what time you're from, though I would judge it was close to mine. Well, Scott and I are from 1977, and we're here because, in a manner of speaking, we're on a journey back to that time. We've heard of this place called Evo Land, where you can get back. And you, sir? My time was Earth year 2230. Hmm. What an irony that anybody would want to go back. Am I correct? that in the 50s and 60s, there was a scientist of some repute named Willoway. Jonathan Willoway? Some repute? Oh, I dare say. An iconoclast, yes. A thorn in the body scientific, a bane to society's conscience. But I dare say they were very happy to hear that my plane disappeared over the Sea of Japan in 1963. Oh, I would never go back. But here, I have the best of all possible worlds. I build my dream castles, I lack no comforts. No companionship. Is the companionship of androids quite as fulfilling as that of men? You cast. I detect no alpha waves in your family. Androids? I find their company a great deal more pleasant than any I previously encountered. Well, now, it's getting late, and... With Miss Liana having at least a four-hour start, I am... I'm sure that you will want to leave. My sons and Robert will escort you to the next valley. Farewell. I thank you. You've been a most gracious host. Oh, you're entirely welcome. Goodbye. Robert? Under no circumstances allow them to return. Yes, Father. Man, I've seen the bums rush, but this is ridiculous. I know. They're not showing us. They're taking us. There's a reason for that. Among all the android readings I was getting, I was receiving two sets of alpha waves. One was close and strong. That's Willoway. But there was another one, further off. Liana! I believe she's still in the villa. For whatever reason, Willoway does not want us to know. We've got ourselves a problem, because these fellas are not going to let us double back. It won't be easy to overcome three androids. But somehow we must. Sarah, I didn't send for you. I know, Father, but it is about Liana. She cried this morning because she could not go with her friends. They are human, like you. Yet you do not treat them as such. Cyrus. Yes, Father. Have you been for rejuvenation? Yes, Father. I see. And for reprogramming? Well, no, Father. I see. The problem is more serious than I thought. Serious? Prepare for reprogramming. Immediately. Yes, Father. Ready, Scott? Yeah. Varian? Okay, go, Scotty, now. Ow! Oh! Ow, oh, my knee! Oh, I think I twisted it! Oh! I must tell father of this. You mustn't get away.
the first time I ever had that one pulled on me. I wouldn't wonder. Now that Willoway's been warned, we're gonna have to take our chances. Strange that one of your sons should be a traitor. He is not a traitor. He simply became unprogrammed. Sometimes happens. Oh. I did think of him as a son. It's almost as if he died. Robert, what happened? We did badly, Father. And I'm sure they'll be able to find their way back here. Something's funny here. We have no choices, do we? Well, where do you think they have Liana? I think she's somewhere in the villa. Hey, we got company. We've come for Liana, Willoway. I would very much doubt you could take her from me. Nevertheless, we want her. Bring Miss Liana. Cirrus, it's my friends. They've come for me. They are prisoners. Willoway wants you now. Cirrus, please. You can't forget all the things we said and did together. Didn't those moments mean anything to you? Cirrus, please. Help us. I cannot. Willoway wants you. Cirrus. Help us get away. Please. You are our only hope. Please. Liana. Do not be unhappy. Please come. Now. The man has had our servants capture the one who aided you. I have seen it, Torin. Perhaps the one who aided you is right when he said it was possible to overcome the man. Perhaps. He also said, if you let one man kick sand in your face on the beach, there are going to be 20 more to do it the next time. There is no honor in that. It is time for me to lead again. Your friends have returned for you. Now my terms are quite simple. You will stay here with me, or they shall die. If they die, I will die with them. You would let her do this? It's her decision to make. Then you shall all die. Together! No, Master! Stop it! these people? The Rugians, Liana. They lived here once. The androids remember them as their masters. What's happening to the androids? They're stopping. They must have destroyed their power source. Why, Cirrus? I gave you a beautiful place to live. I even made you my son. Why have you done this? Liana, you make her unhappy. <sighs> but I reprogrammed you! Liana? 
Diana. What is ours and are ready to fight for it. Fight? What is there to fight for? It was all so perfect. And now look. Oh, it'll be perfect again, but you will not be here. You may have the swamp if you desire it. You are free to leave, but leave now. I have very little to take with me. Thank you for giving us the courage to become again what we once were. What about your androids? This can all be repaired. Perhaps we will leave them looking as you are to remind us of you. You are welcome to remain with us for as long as you wish. Thank you, but we must still seek out our goal. Yeah, Evo Land. Yeah, I heard that. Hey, look! Salel. Oh. Well, I guess that makes it official. As you said. I heard that. <laughs> oh, hello there. Decided against the swamp. It's not my style. Where then? Some other place, some other people. But alone? The society and I do seem to have our problems. Yeah, I wonder why. You might travel with us. Wait a minute, after what he was gonna do? Oh, well, now why would you possibly want me to travel with you? You're alone, and you never would have killed us. That is true. Yo, if Liana had called my bluff, I don't know what I possibly would have done. How did you know? I'm from the future, remember? And I know more about you than you do. I don't understand. In my time, the Jonathan Willoway Award was given annually to 10 scientists whose work was distinguished most for its contribution to life, not death. Posthumous memorial? It took about 20 years. They credited you, Willoway, with creating a scientific ethic which became universal. One of the building blocks in achieving the kind of world that I knew. And I was appreciated after all. You know, a lot of good that does me now. Of course. Well, I'll travel with you, of course. Uh, I, I may sometimes not be the ideal companion, but I do want to tell you that... Well, away, please. Let's just get it on. Liana, I hope you can forgive me. All I really wanted was some human companionship. <laughs> oh, I think we can give you that. Hmm. 